Now in calculus, we want to study functions that are said to be continuous because they're the nicest types of functions. And um, they're really the types of functions that play well with the rules of calculus. So bef before I tell you what a continuous function is, I should just give you an example of the three ways that a function can fail to be continuous. And so in example 117, um, I have basically highlighted the three ways a function can fail to be continuous. The first is that um, at x equals negative 3, f is not defined. You see I put this open circle here, and that's to note the fact that f of, f of negative 3 does not exist. So f of negative 3 does not exist. Or is not defined. Okay, so that's type 1. Type 2 is when the limit as x approaches a, a value c um, does not exist. And so the, a place where this happens is that we see that the left and right hand limits as x approaches 1 are not equal, so the limit as x approaches positive 1 of f of x does not exist. Right, because for a limit to exist, you need the left-hand limit to equal the right-hand limit. So that's that's a, a case two right here where you have a jump. And then the final example is um, case three, which I've highlighted at x equals negative one. And there you see that the limit as x approaches um, negative one is one, but f of negative one is actually like 1.6 or something. So here, f of negative 1 equals 1.6, which does not equal the limit as x approaches negative 1 of f of x, which is uh, 1. Okay, so this is this is type 3. It's where the, the value of the function doesn't equal the limit. Type 1 is where the function is not defined at that particular point. And uh, type 2 is where the limit doesn't exist because there's uh, some type of jump discontinuity.